I saw myself in the citadel of Susa, in the province of Elam, beside the Yulai Canal. I looked up, and there before me was a ram with two horns standing beside the canal. And the horns were long, but one of the horns was longer than the other, but grew up later. I watched the ram as it charged towards the west, and the north, and the south. No animal could stand against it, and none could rescue from its power. It did as it pleased, and became great. The two-horned ram represents the kings of Media, Persia. As I was thinking about this, suddenly a goat with a prominent horn between its eyes came from the west, crossing the whole earth without touching the ground. It came toward the two-horned ram I had seen standing beside the canal and charged at it in great rage. I saw it attack the ram furiously, striking the ram and shattering its two horns. The ram was powerless to stand against it. The goat knocked it to the ground and trampled on it, and none could rescue the ram from its power. The shaggy goat is the king of Yavan, and the large horn between its eyes is the first king. The goat became very great, but at the height of its power, the large horn was broken off, and in its place four prominent horns grew up toward the four winds of heaven. Out of one of them came another horn which started small but grew up in power to the south and to the east and toward the beautiful land, Israel. The four horns that replace the one that was broken off represent the four kingdoms that will emerge from his nation but will not have the same power. It grew until it reached the host of the heavens, and it threw some of the starry host down to earth and trampled on them. It set itself up to be as great as the commander of the army of the Lord. It took away the daily sacrifice from the Lord, and his sanctuary was thrown down. A fierce-looking king, a master of intrigue, will rise. He will become very strong, but not by his own power. He will cause astounding devastation and will succeed in whatever he does. He will destroy those who are mighty, the holy people. He will cause deceit to prosper, and he will consider himself superior. He will destroy many and take his stand against the prince of princes. And yet, he will be utterly destroyed and not by human hands.